Hi there, welcome back to the garage. We're back on the J9 coffee van conversion. Today, if you followed it last week, we cut the hole in the side. Um, so we've got this huge, great hole in the side of the van now. We've got to fill it with something. So we're going to fabricate the whole flap and put it in. So we're going to attach it to the hinge and make it all strengthened, stiffened, put all the battens and everything in there. Let's get straight onto it and uh, yeah, fabricate this flap. So I've got Malk here helping me out. This is a pretty big sheet of aluminium, big 8 4 piece, and we're going to cut it down. Got the uh, hacksaw there, the Milwaukee hacksaw, cracking bit of kit. Aluminium blade in there. I'm just going to whiz straight through this. Try not to chop through my uh, table that's underneath. And this is going to be the basis for our flap. That's better, isn't it? Get a move on. The only trouble is I've got my workbench at the end there. Chopped the handle off me, yeah. And I chopped, <laughs> chopped into the handle. Chopped the handle off the work, mate. Yeah, it was going straight through there, look. <laughs> it's all right, that's good. Well, you've gone right through it. No, no, you just, took, you just started on it. <laughs> <laughs> got a bit wobbly down here, look. Yeah, that's probably where you're going through the handle. Got a little Milwaukee grinder here. This is a polisher grinder, it's a cracking bit of kit for taking these burrs off the edges on the in the sharps. Do you want, you want the thing? Yeah, we'll get the hinge down. I can peel back this plastic protection off this aluminium sheet as well. We'll need to get that away while we fix this part of the hinge to the top. We'll be bonding this as well as riveting it. And we'll get it in the middle if we can. To me, to you, like the Truckle Brothers. coming to me just to... The mill. Yeah. Oh, was it, it to yeah, you? Yeah, near <laughs> enough. Right. Just watch you don't uh, knock it off though, Mal. Measure the shoe. Ah, now I'm done. So we've got a piece of nice box section there that's going to go behind the, the actual sheet and rivet into the back of that hinge. So it's going to really beef the whole thing up. We'll just cut that down to size so that it's perfect. Get a good length on that. that should now go into place underneath. Yeah, we've got to go all the way, all the way down. So we get the seam sealant on here, all the way down the back of the hinge. And that will just sandwich together. When we put that rivet through, it'll pull it all up really tight, squish that in the middle, stop any leaks or anything coming through as well. But it's really gonna give it some good strength. Tighten it up a Tighten. bit there for him out. There we go. Pinch it all together so we can get the drill through it. Hold it all in place. Make sure it don't move. Right, middle. Let's find the middle. Get a rivet in the middle and then one on either end. Two, two point two five. Fifty, so one, two, five. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a middle sorted and now we're just going to mark out where I'm going to put the rivets in. We'll just make them a nice sort of 12 inches apart. Jot them all the way down, mark them up so we can get some holes through there. So a cup of tea later and a few holes and we can just bang this through. It's getting late now so we don't want to uh, upset the neighbours and be working into the night. So we'll just get these ones banged in and then call it a, call it a day. The old faithful Makita drill there, look, cracking bit of kit. Makes light work of this aluminium boxing. this rivet gun, oh my word, what a bit of kit, absolutely superb. You can see how, you can hear it, how strong it is, it's just pulling it all up really tight, really solid. These stainless steel rivets as well, which are really hard to pull up, but they're super strong.
Oh, put it in the right way, Ant. Oh, wrong hand. <laughs> put it in the right way around, it always helps. I'm gonna get it in the wrong hole, do we? There we go. <laughs> there we go, let's get Watch it. Watch you don't in. scratch the paintwork when you slide it in. Okay, and. Oh my goodness me. What's happening there? He's rubbing the body. That box out. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's. Uh... Oh. Has he scratched it? Yeah, it's a nightmare. Okay. I don't know much. It's not too bad. We've got to paint this side again, so uh, it ain't the end of the world. Could it go in, though? How good's that? That means it must be pretty straight. <laughs> Right, Watch your hat, don't fall off, though, Mal. Oh. <laughs> right huh? Yeah, I'm all right if you are. I've still got five mil. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> We're there. It's there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's pull that away, isn't it? A little bit. Just a torch. Is it? I oh, know it's not. I don't think it does. No, oh, no, 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 I'm looking at that like yeah, a while. No, it's, no, no, it's, it's not. Me. No, it's, it's not. It's spot on. It's not even. No, it's lovely. Oh, beautiful. What do you think? We're there. Let all that go off on the bottom. We can put the trim on the bottom tomorrow. Call it a night. I think we're done for the day. I'm well chuffed with that, eh? Thanks, Bell. <laughs> so, following day, I can pull the van out in the, uh, in the light of the day and uh, see what we've been up to. So the flap's on there, but obviously in a really basic form. It needs beefing up, needs some battens, needs strengthening, it needs a trim putting around it. But we've got to mark it out. First of all, we're going to start with this trim, which is the one that goes along the bottom. I need to get this right in there so that I can get a guide off it. You see that cuts it nice, that circular saw there. Nice little mitre saw. We get this one in the bottom here and it will give us a, a decent edge to work from. Beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna pop a couple of rivets through there because this, don't forget, we're gonna to have to take this out when we put the worktop in. So this bottom panel needs to be removable um, just for the short term. So just a couple in there to peg it in. Then we can mark out the beaming for the actual lid to stiffen it up. Right, let's get a couple in there. I get a bit of uh, a plate there just to mark it out, make sure we get it level all the way along so we can see where we're going to drill. We don't want it all wonky donkey down here, it wants to be nice and level. Get them grips on there, hold it all in place. And again, as long as it's the same both sides, it'll all look nice. So we can just use this to mark it up and uh, get another hole through. This is quite a quite a deep hole. We're going through this outer angle, then the three mil aluminium plate and the actual side of the van. So it's got a bit of uh, bit of work to get through. Nice long rivet through there as well. These are only a, this is a soft aluminium one, like I say, because it's coming out again. This so it's just to hold it there while we mark everything out. Chuck one in the other side as well, and then we'll be ready to mark up. We're going through three different layers of metal. Lob another wood rivet in there. Quite a long one, so it takes two pulls. Bang, there we go. Beautiful. Love it. What a beer kit that is. So now that's all in place. Secured down. We can now mark it up from the inside. I can pull this trellis out of the way. Or the trellis, the trestle out of the way and drop that flap down and then I'll just wedge it closed so I can put a little bit of pressure on the inside of my pen without it moving. So inside we've got to create this trellis of artwork in here <laughs> using the uh, aluminium box section. We need to stiffen this whole thing up. We've obviously got the nice sturdy one across the top there that we put in and we need to make a complete frame all the way around and put some braces in and everything. Um, 
so yeah let's mark it up now now we've got it pegged it's closed we know where we need to be we know what what we've got to work with we can mark all that out now so uh, first thing we don't want this to be perfectly we need it we need a gap all the way around we need it like a five mil or even 10 millimeter from the edge just to give us a bit of uh, a bit of leeway So let's mark it out then. I've got the marker pen and I'm gonna get you just go all the way around. We've got a nice nice gap that side on the hinge. Uh, nice gap that side there, is it in the middle exactly? Yeah, I think we are, I think we're there. Now then looking at this, we could actually go the width of the pen all the way around. So if I just bring the pen down. No. Perfect. That is what we've got to work with. We can take this flap off now and go and do the work on the outside I'm happy with that so we'll get that ladder out of the way and then once again the flap's got to come off and he's going to try and do it all on his own look can we do oh, it's a bit tiptoes stretching pushing this looks like a disaster waiting to happen what do you think <laughs> One gust of wind in the wrong direction, and it could all go, uh, could all go belly up or belly down on flat on your face. Oh, it's getting to the edge. Look, oh yeah. Don't drop it. Come on, off you come. Don't scratch it. Oh yeah, made it. Get that in the carport. We'll get the bit of board on there. Stop us damaging it because it is a metal table we're working on. We'll get some rivets just down the top end of that hinge onto that brace there. Just make sure that's nice and solid to start with. And then we can work off that with the, uh, the new bracing. So this is what we've got to work with. We've got some 20 mil box section aluminium there. And we can cut that up, mark it, get it right. This should be strong enough to give us a decent amount of strength on that flap without too much weight. And just take them sharps off the edges. Give it a little clean up inside of the square file. Lovely, lovely. So, you know, working clean, got to work on a clean surface, don't we? Don't want to get any burst stuck underneath it before we rivet it down. Pop some holes through. We'll drill through this plate from the top, then I can hold that box section in place and then drill up from the bottom and get it through into that box in and make sure it's all nice and level where it needs to be. I put another piece over the top of that to hold it all down so I can get these clamps in at the sides because obviously they're not long enough to go into the uh, get directly on top of it. One of them either end though, and it'll work like a treat. Once I've got the holes in place, we can move it out of the way, get some seam sealer down there again, and then it'll all line up again, hopefully, with a bit of luck, and, uh, and then we can put some rivets through and get it to where we need it to be. Quick clean it once again, and here we go, this is the seam sealer. We'll run a good bead of that all the way down there. This is going to make it super strong. Once it's got that on it and the rivet through it as well, it'll really hold it tight, stiffen everything up. Just get that almost where we want it to be. Bang, rivet one end, rivet the other end. You'll see it come out when it pulls it up. Oh, look at that. Absolutely delightful. I put a marker line from one to the other on this side so we know exactly where we're going to drill and we can 
now go straight through into the box section through this front panel and rivet it all the way down I'll line these up with the rivets on the top so it all looks nice and neat and all in line get the holes through and bang them rivets in but putting a few in it is going to have an awful lot of rivets holding it all together by the time we're done so I'm so pleased I've got that electric rivet gun and we can cut these battens up marking with a pencil cutting through with the mitre saw makes light work of that So we could carry on knocking these battens out, they're all the same length so uh, we could just keep running them off, chop through them there, get through this metal, dropping them in, cutting them up and another one, taking the sharps off it and it's really taking shape now, get some holes through, same again, rivet from underneath, drill through the top, rivet from underneath seam seal on everything, get rid of all the burrs so we don't make any nastiness when we uh, rivet it down. Get this seam sealer in there, look beautiful. Cracking stuff. Drilling up into the box section, holding it in place with them clamps. Once again that rivet gun making light work of these. Can you imagine trying to pull them up by hand from underneath? Oh, it'd be a nightmare. Bit more seam sealant in there. Let's get these middle ones all fastened into place. Loving these clamps as well. They are brilliant. There's the dog look. Loving life. <laughs> Keeping me company, she is, bless her. Look at him go, look. So many rivets. <laughs> and we're going to get these corner braces in place now. So I'm just whipping down a bit of this uh, one and a half mil plate and uh, making some little triangles there for these corners. We can get them, hold them in place, drill them through and then bang them straight in. That's really going to stiffen that up and make it nice. It's all about just making boxes and triangular shapes to get this strength in. Oh, look at that go. Absolutely delightful. Peel off the plastic. Good as new. Oh, I love them. I can't get enough of these slow motions and these shots of these rivets pulling up. Oh, this part, this is where we've got the extra three layers of metal to build up to the bigger box section there look, to, to make it all line up. It's really close. It's not, there's about half a mil there, but it's it's fine. Right, Drang. Looks pretty good. Nice braces in there. All secure. Lovely, lovely. Oh, right, today's little job, we've got some of this beautiful trim. It's really, really nice. Just finishes it off nicely. So, gonna cut it all to shape and size. Get it in there, mitre these corners in. And, and it'll just finish that off really nice. And then it's 45 degrees. It's going to be off that line there. So that's that one in. Let's chop that one down. And this saw is amazing. You can bring that round to your 45 degrees. I'll go that side. <laughs> You can go two ways and I've got the wrong way. Yeah, because you don't know what you're doing. Come on, sort it out. So I've just packed that out with a couple of bits of bar to make it flush and that'll sit square on the on the saw now. Should be there. <laughs> just 
Just like a little. Alright, the next one is the big length across the front. straight away lot. I've got to take a piece off the end of that one. So at least we've gone the right way. Okay. <laughs> right then. Let's get that off of there. Ah, we all have these moments. Made a cock up, but hey oh, Nothing we can't right. rectify. Let's see what that looks like. Put that one into there. If we bring those two in. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Peel this back on this side. I get that plastic out of the way so we've got something good to work to. Now this is what I should have done on the other side is actually put these together because they've got that lip on them it alters where the the angle comes in and that's what I missed on the other side. There's his markings let's get cutting. Oh you're beautiful. Oh beautiful I'm pretty pleased with that that looks pretty spot on to me. Let's get it riveted up. Right, I'm clamping the big one in first just to make sure we hold that in place. And I'm feeling the end is nigh. We're getting there. This is the last sort of piece of the jigsaw on this uh, flap. Let's get this edging trim all riveted into place. So it's just a case of putting through another 30 odd rivets to uh, hold it all in. Which is a piece of cake with this new gun, it's amazing. And this again is giving us extra strength. These edging trims have got lovely strength to them. They've got that nice angle. Again, marking it out, making sure it's all the same both sides. Oh, that was a task on it. I tell you what, thank goodness for that electric rivet gun because my hand would have been absolutely melted um, pulling these in by hand because they are super tough stainless steel rivets. Really, really hard to pull up. But we've got a really nice clean edge now all the way around. Probably just Grind a little bit of the uh, really sharp edge off the corners now. Um, but I think we're about there. We're not far away. I just take these really sharp edges off because I learnt my lesson before and um, you know, gashed myself on one. So we need them to be nice and smooth. Right. Don't want no accidents. Right. Let's get this plastic film off. That's going to be a bit hard to get it through all the rivets, but I'd rather do that than scratch it up while I'm working on it. So we can peel the plastic off now and then uh, get ready for some primer. We also need to try it and make sure it fits. Because <laughs> we ain't done that for a while. God blimey. Oh, all these problems. Let's get going. He's at it again, all on his own, trying to get it on without scratching it or bashing it. Hoping there's no wind about today. It's quite hard to gauge that and get that in. It's a pretty tight fit. Oh, are we there? Direct hit that one. Here we go, look. Come on, push it on. Slipping on in there, and you can see that's pretty stiff. Look, it's pretty stiff, it's stiffer than it was when it didn't have any braces on it. So, uh, get it to about the right place. And oh, beautiful! Beautiful, <laughs> that's the delight. That is, oh, I'm really pleased, really pleased with that. Should we peel the plastic off now? Is it time? Hmm. I think it is. This is going to be fun, like I say, because every rivet that's gone through it, it's, it's always fiddly to get the plastic out. There's always going to be bits stuck underneath. But it's lovely and shiny. Look at that. Who loves a bit of shiny metal? I do. <laughs> oh, it's like unwrapping Christmas presents. Wonderful. Let's get it off. Okay. I've just got to go around and pick these little bits out, the rivets that are still tat it. I'll get that sorted. She's good. It all goes down nice. We've got a couple of latches to go in there to pick that down. Fits like a glove, doesn't it? Oh, wicked. I'm glad it fits. That's the first thing. 
because I didn't know if the shape would have been distorted or if that beaming had affected anything, but it's not. It's really, really nice. It has gone on lovely. Let's get some primer on it. Get it, uh, get it painted up. It's going to look wicked. So the flap's all built, ready for painting. We'll get some primer on it in the next episode. So please join me again next week. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll put all the links in the description for all the parts and tools that we've used today. Um, drop me a little thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Yeah.